Jesus. Hello, Wendy Mouse here, and we're back with another one of these. It's been oh, quite a while since the last one. I believe it's been eight months since the last time I made one of these, which is which is a good thing because people thought they disappeared, they were relieved, and then suddenly after all this time, another one hits and everyone's unsubscribed. And honestly, I never plan these videos. I just let them happen for the games that deserve them. <laughs> like it's a fucking award. And let me just copy and paste this from a previous waifu video so I don't have to say it again. So just in case if you're new here and you don't understand what's happening, here's the rundown. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know these waifu videos are just an excuse to discuss games that I'm enjoying at the time in the most preposterous way possible. So this video is of course about Doki Doki Literature Club. Honestly, one of my favorite titles of this year. I can't tell anybody that though. If they don't know what it is, it's so hard to explain. No, it's actually this really deep meta horror experience. It's really disturbing and fucked up and they're like, shut the fuck up you weeb. I even polled you guys on Twitter and asked whether or not this should happen and the results were 37% yes, 18% help and 45% just Monica. So I know there's only four total possibilities, but you know, that's part of the challenge. We'll cover the characters, their paths, what they're about. And of course, if you haven't played the game before, go watch my video on it, or even better, you go play it yourself. It's free. You can finish it about three to four hours. I, I highly recommend it. Definitely if you're into the, the horror, disturbing shit, go play it. Definitely if you've never seen anything about it. But um, if, if, you, if you have, prep, prep those trousers, because here we go. <laughs> Alright, so... Put the first number here. First little slide. I don't know if we'll have numbers, it doesn't really number four. Maybe we'll, yeah, we'll just have their name, I reckon. So we'll just have put Nats put Natsuki here. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter who I put in this fourth spot, the spots don't matter, but if you don't like the numbers, put your own list down below. Anyone who agrees with me, they they get their comment pinned. Anyone who uh, doesn't agree with me will go ignored because that's how the world works. But first I'd like to talk about Natsuki. I'm not hating on her because she's in the fourth position. She's actually been my Twitter display picture since I first played the game. It's just perfect. Look at it. And that does kill a little for me. Uh, why can't she just be nice, you know? But a total cutie, she uh, makes you cupcakes, and it's, honestly, there's nothing more you need than that. And now I know this lady would not be happy to be in the third spot, but coming in at number three is Monica. Now I know this lady would not be happy to be in the third spot, but coming at number three is Aori. She's your childhood friend and actually is the one who convinces you to join the literature club in the first place, bribing you with cupcakes. And of course at the midway point she's also the one who commits suicide. <laughs> Her personality is actually described as depressing inside, happy outside. Wow. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to stop Sayori from committing suicide that's hard-coded into the game. A lot of people seem to be asking whether or not you can save her with certain choices, but sadly, her fate is decided from the get-go. There's a few small details or even easter eggs that I really like about Sayori. This... I shouldn't have said like, that sounds really disturbing. Look, they're just nice little details, okay? But when you find Sayori in her room, her hands are bloodied, showing that she didn't actually die from the initial hanging because the chair wasn't high enough to snap her neck, meaning she died from asphyxiation instead. So her survival instincts probably kicked in and she started scratching at the rope to get out, which makes the whole situation that much worse. Another one is after this happens in the background of the classroom, you can actually see a, a poster of her hanging there. And you can also delete Monica. Delete Monica. Delete, delete, delete Monica. Delete Monica. Delete Monica. Mon 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 on your first playthrough, and it causes Sayori to realize she's trapped inside of the game instead of Monica. She will shut down your game, delete all the characters, and then next time you open it, she'll be dead. Sayori just does not catch a break in any one of these timelines that this 
game decides to tell. It's fucking depressing. So Yuri is the path I decided to choose on my initial playthrough and oh boy what a journey that was. She seems like a nice quiet introverted girl when you first uh, introduced to her but golly gosh does she take an obsessive turn in the second act. This isn't her fault though, her personality is being played around with and of course forced by everyone's favourite. And her suicide scene is uh, a lot more um, intense, a lot more graphic, a lot more sharp than Sayori's was. And as much as this game is genius in its creation, I also hate it. You know when you watch a horror movie, a good horror movie, <laughs> not many of those exist, and all the characters are like friends and they're happy at the start and you're like, get on with it, this is boring shit. But then they start dying and they start losing their minds and you've grown attached to them at that point. So you're like, all right, no, turn it back, please. Go back to when they were happy. That's exactly how I, how I felt during this stupid ass anime dating sim game. Who's at number one? Well, it's, you know, you, there's one missing in this list and it's gotta be... Hi, it's me. I can't believe he chose me for the number one spot. Mainly thanks to you for voting for me. Now I don't even need Indie Mouse. I have you. Maybe I'll take over his channel so I can share videos with you? I don't know. That seems mean. I'll think about it. I'll just watch you from this video. Forever. 